Members of the Army Field Band performing for this year's virtual Hispanic Heritage Month observance. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. You can watch this year's observance in its entirety, produced by the 780th MI Brigade and the Fort Meade Equal Opportunity Office, on our Facebook page. Also this week on Mead Week, our interview with Mrs. Maryland America 2020, Chief Warrant Officer Keisha Ruiz, and a look at Defender's Day at Fort McHenry. These stories and more, but first, Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland hosted the quarterly community town hall focused on housing this week. The town hall was a virtual affair with representatives from the Garrison and housing contractor Corvius Military Living answering questions online from the Post Theater. Colonel Nyland opened by reiterating the commitment of leadership to resolving housing issues. He also opened with some good news on cell phone reception. We're in the uh, final stages of um, finalizing a deal with Verizon where we're gonna allow them to put up two additional um, mobile cell phone towers. So the first one's gonna go up adjacent to uh, DISA off of Cooper Avenue, uh, very close to where the current AT&T one is. And then a second one is gonna go up uh, back on Rockenbach Road on the roundabout uh, just to the west of the Argonne Hills Chapel Center. Operations Director for Corvius here at Fort Meade, J.C. Calder, opened with a question on many residents' minds, the status of the neighborhood centers and other amenities. Moving forward as we look at opening up our community centers in family housing, um, that's going to be a little more challenging. Um, we all love children, uh, but everybody knows children are a little more difficult when it comes to social distancing. So we've got some things that we're working through. We're going to present our plan. Um, to the garrison, um, which is basically protocol from what I understand with anything that's opening up on post. Um, we'll present that. Our uh, goal is to be able to communicate back to you all by October 1st. You can watch the hour-long town hall in its entirety on the Fort Meade Facebook page. Just click on videos. In other news, a Fort Meade warrant officer, Chief Keisha Ruiz, was crowned Mrs. Maryland America 2020 on August 29th at this year's pageant in White Marsh, Maryland. Meade Week had a chance to talk with Ruiz, a 21-year Army veteran assigned to Fort Meade's Army Field Support Center, about being Mrs. Maryland America with an Army career. Mrs. Maryland America was actually the first pageant I ever did and I loved it and I got started basically with community service. Um, I didn't really know much about pageantry. I wasn't really interested in pageantry but I was interested in giving back to the community. So my platform is women's empowerment and what I try to do is go out in the community and empower women just to you know be successful, pursue their civilian education, don't give up on their dreams but really it's just about not just not women not just women but empowering women empowering young ladies to be the best you know the best them that they can be because in the end when you empower a woman you you're empowering the world really Ruiz plans on competing in the Mrs. America pageant in Las Vegas later this year. I'm sure all of us here will be wishing her the very best of luck. Meanwhile, known as Baltimore's oldest holiday, Fort McHenry's Defenders Day commemorates the Battle of Baltimore and the writing of the Star Spangled Banner. The Army just released this video profiling an Army veteran turned Fort McHenry National Park Ranger. My name is Angel Garcia and I am a park ranger at Fort McHenry National Monument and Historic Shrine. I served two years in Iraq in 2004, all of 2004, and then again in 2006. A lot of uh, veterans and active duty military uh, members still come here. I, I feel that a, a place like Fort McHenry, that could be reassuring for them, that everything that they have been through, that it was not in vain. There were defenders before them, and that they are part of a legacy of defenders uh, past and present uh, that are trying to uphold everything that that flag means to the American people, to our collective American story. I have uh, places in, within the fort that are my favorite spots to stand, specifically uh, Bastion 4 and 5. And standing at those points, the wind is rough, but you can see the river, you can see where the British were, you can uh, look behind you and you can see the city of Baltimore and you can kind of put yourself in, in, in that place and reflect on what they witnessed. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann for everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office. Have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.